You ready? Hawaii. You ready? Hawaii. Did you say Hawaii? No, 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 Hawaii. You didn't say Hawaii? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do some of our reading words. Are you ready to read today, Jimmy? Mm. You want to read some words? Okay, so we have packed up our lessons yeah. from before the Christmas holiday. Daddy. Daddy. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go over some of our words that we were doing before the holiday with Jimmy. We, and I'm just going to unpack real quick Daddy. some of this. Yeah, we haven't done yet. Oh yeah, these are good. Yay! Yay! We've got shapes and we've got words. And then we have words that we put together. Okay. So, as you can see, we have a ton of resources that I actually put together over many, many years and did with all of the L's. Um, so, like I said, we had them packed away just for the little break during the Christmas holiday and winter break. We had everybody at home, so it kind of just made sense to take a few weeks off, which um, I know not recommended, but we have a lot going on and just having everyone here all the time. All right, we are excited about our lessons, aren't we? Yes? Okay. Okay, so what we do is we do five at a time. And then um, the very first time you show to the baby, you're going to say, this says, and then you show them the word. And you do five words at a time, take a little break, say, great job, and get really excited. And then you, then you go again. Um, what we start with usually I think is like three sets um, and anyway you go up to five sets and what you end up doing eventually is not saying this says you'll just show the word so the baby will know um, and you basically write what the word is and as you can see like I don't know if you can see it but I have um, dates here so when I first showed the word this actually says February 9th, 2006 so that was for the whole thing. Um, because he was the only kid I had at the time. Okay, are you ready? ready? You're ready. Okay, good. Okay. Walking. Toes. Kiss. Puppy. Bubbles. Good job, Jenny. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to do some more. You ready for more? More. Ball. Night. All. Cow. Clap. Yay! Good job, Jimmy. Okay, we're gonna do some more. So I like to incorporate signing as well, um, especially when they're first learning because and uh, it's easier for them to communicate. So it seems to help actually their verbal skills. What? More. 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 Very good. I got got more. Yes, more. Very good. Okay, more. Hands. There. Say. Sleepy. Good. Great job reading today, Jimmy. Okay, let's do some more. Yes, it's just the one out here. What? Yes. Great. Nose. Chair. Arms. Inside, they. Very good, Jimmy. Good reading. You're doing great. Okay, now these 
the sun that we started out with in the beginning because they were um, written really large. Okay. Let's see, I want to yeah. switch one out. Because now I'm getting into my old ones. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I have five that are really written large and on a larger poster board. And you'll see we just do like a basic letter and um, like a kindergarten teacher style. You want to see more? You want to see more? Um, and then it's just white poster board with the red lettering. And I also have some that are free printed that I bought from the Institute of Human Potential, which is in Philadelphia where I got all of this from. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Whoa. so the last set more. Very good. Whoa. More. Daddy. Diaper. Mommy. Head. Night. Daddy. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy. Yeah, I can say that word. You like that word, Daddy? Good job. Okay. So now we're going to do what's called bits of information. So um, these I've been showing to Jimmy for a while, these sets. So what I basically do is get down to um, information on the back. And but when it started, I would just say what it was. So right now we're going to look at insects. Jimmy, do you like insects? Yes, you do. Okay. So as you can see, it has a, a photograph or picture of the item or bits of intelligence, bit of intelligence on the front. And then on the back for the parent to see or the teacher to see, it has what it is called. So you always start with just reading this and showing the front. And we, I do all 10 at a time. And um, so we start with this. This one is the two spotted ladybird beetle. I'm gonna show it to Jimmy. Um, because we haven't done it in a while, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it the first way. But as we continue down, what I do is, for all of them I would do like number three, or all of them I do number four. And I just go down day by day and add those in um, so that he can learn little bits about each of, of these. You'll see kind of how it works. But today I'm just gonna say what it's called because it's been a little while. So we'll do it as a refresher. And then maybe on one of the other ones, I'll, I'll do one of the um, further down bits. Two spotted ladybird beetle, housefly, little black ant, golden northern bumblebee, periodical cicada, Subterranean termite, giant walking stick, monarch butterfly, green darner dragonfly, insects, yay! Very good, Jimmy. Okay, so then I just put that set away to the side so that we can come back to it later. So all of these, we go through and we the idea is to do them three times a day um, and to basically stop before the baby gets tired and kind of bored of it. So right now he's still wanting more, so we're going to do more, um, but yeah, you want some more? Okay. okay, so we have another set of insects. Let's look at those. Insects. We love insects. You can see them on our walk when we go outside. These different insects. We even have some in the house sometimes, right? Okay, are we ready? I'm ready. You're ready. Good. Green stink bug, praying mantis, Atlas beetle, dog bane beetle, Stevens Island weta, differential grasshopper, giant lace wing, South American firefly. Tree hopper, lantern bug, TC fly, green stink bug, praying mantis, insects. Good job, Jimmy. 
Okay, let's look at the air vehicles. That's another one we like. Air vehicles. Can you say air? E. Vehicles? Can you say vehicles? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's a big word. Let me know what's in here. Sometimes we get to see air vehicles in our backyard. We see the airplanes fly over. It's usually a Boeing 747 that flies over the house. Yes. Air vehicles. Flyer one. Boeing 747. Lillian Falls glider. Gifford's blimp. Montgolfier Brothers balloon. Folk Agellis helicopter. Antonov AN-225. Space Shuttle Columbia. Adair Steam Engine Airplane. X-15. Flyer One. So we started with air vehicles. Good job. Yeah. Clap for yourself. You're doing an awesome job. Yes, I can tell you've missed your lessons. Air vehicles. You see what this one is in the front? Space Shuttle Columbia. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's do this one next. These are vocabulary words, basic vocabulary words around the house and they basically have it set up where they have sentences in English and then they have um, other languages down. So what they suggest is that you just stick with one language. So I always start with English and then um, we live in Texas and so I think Spanish is a good next language for them to learn. So, so then basically what you do is you start with saying the word in English the first few, several times you do the set, right? So we would say refrigerator. Um, eventually, you would add in a sentence. That way, when you teach it in the other language, the baby is learning exactly what you're saying. So, for example, this one says, where is the refrigerator? And then in Spanish, it says, donde esta? And then uh, el refrigerador. So, it goes um, in order like that. Like, I would like to eat a banana. When you do banana, me gustaría comer un plátano. If you say if you say it in Spanish, so would you like to to look at the vocabulary words? Mm -hmm. yeah, these are words he likes. So we'll do this the English one today. Bread. Do you like bread? Sometimes he answers the question. Bed. I sleep in my bed at night. Automobile. This is a blue automobile. Car. Can you say car? Yes. Bathtub. The bathtub is empty. Apple. Please give me an apple. <laughs> <laughs> grapes. I love grapes. Oh, no. Sometimes he tries to say the sentence. Chair. Please sit down on the chair. Ooh, we were talking about this this morning. Orange juice. I drink orange juice. Refrigerator. This is where we started. Where is the refrigerator? <laughs> I don't know. It's in the kitchen, right? Yeah, the refrigerator's in the kitchen. Very good. So that's basically it. Um, we, we have a few more to go through, which we will, but um, just wanted to give you a little taste into what life is like with a toddler, baby. Um, the dates that I have on here, actually the very first time, was when Bakri um, was 11 months old. I usually do start before they're a year. And um, like I said, I incorporate the sign language more. More. I incorporate the sign language also as I'm teaching them. Um, I do it this way when they're really active and kind of moving around a bunch. And because I'm going to leave him in here forever, he's going a lesson and that's it. He doesn't even eat in this chair anymore. Um, it works fine for us. 
I know sometimes in the example videos, the parents like on the floor, um, the baby's sitting on the couch, the parents right in front of them on a chair. Um, I think that obviously works for some people. It just doesn't, it ha that's not a way that I've done it um, with the five of them. So anyway, this is what has worked for us. All right, Jimmy, great art masterpieces. Erasmus of Rotterdam, three mu musicians, the wedding of Stephen Beckingham and Mary Cox, Mona Lisa, sunflowers, Aristotle contemplating a bust of Homer, Marie de Medici, the hair, the Holy Family, Mont Saint Victor. Great art masterpieces, Jimmy. Good job. Okay. 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 This one always makes the other kids uncomfortable and laugh, so you'll see why. Um, here we go. Uh, but they're not uncomfortable when they're little. Organs of the body. Testis, brain, kidney, pancreas, ovary, lungs, heart, bladder, liver, stomach, organs of the body. Yay. We have one more. More, one more. We're gonna do, this time we're going to look at musical instruments. Well, we have so many musical instruments in our house. All about them, just packing these away real quick. Oh, Noah. What do you see? What do you see? Musical instruments. So I'm also used to kind of shuffling them as I go because you do want to make sure they're not in the same order every time because the baby will just learn in order and not really um, take the information in as well. Musical instruments, flute, guitar, bass drum, cello, Violin, French horn, piano, oboe, clarinet, trombone. Yay! Musical instruments. Great job, Jimmy. You did awesome. We're going to go ahead and be done for today. So, ba ba. We're done for now. We're going to come back and do more lessons in a little bit. You don't want to be done?